Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you very much for the revivalist singers who have given us already. They have told us that Jesus said the mountains must obey. Every mountain will move away in Jesus' name. The ask is not in time for talking. It's a time for praying. It's a time of power. It's a time of deliverance. It's a time of release. It's a time of healing. And I pray, Lord, every mountain in every life will move away in Jesus' name. Every hindrance in your way, every calamity in your way, every sickness in your body, every oppression in your life, any need in your family, I command right now, every yoke is broken in Jesus' name. And I pray as we stand here and declare the word of the Lord, every mountain in every life will move away in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, Assuredly I say unto you, Certainly I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hands from yonder place to yonder place, and it shall remove. It shall remove. Yes. Your mountain, it shall remove. Yes. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. When we talk about mountains moving, many people don't understand. Because there's still mountains all around them. If you go to your state perhaps, and you look at the backyard of your house, you might look far away there, there is a mountain. Is that the kind of mountain we're talking about? The answer is no. The Lord is talking about something big, something heavy, something long-standing. Something, if it falls on us, it will crush us. It's talking about problems. And he's saying a problem may look like a mountain. And when we say to that mountainous problem, move, it's going. Yeah. What is he referring to then as mountain? M, mental problems. That's a mountain that many people have, many young people have epilepsy, insanity, lunatic situation, mental problems, M. O, obstructive problems. That is something that obstructs your way. A mountain is something that is standing before you. You want to go to the other side. You cannot. Obstructive problems. You unbearable problems. When a problem is so much, I cannot bear. I cannot stand. I cannot withstand. That's a mountain. And is a naughty problem. It's just naughty. And I try to get out, and the thing is still there. That's a mountain. It's a naughty problem. T, it's a terrifying problem. When Jesus said, you will say to this mountain, it's talking about something. It's so high, it's so wide, it's so broad, it's so thick, it's so deep. It terrifies you. That's a mountain. A is an age-long ancestral problem. It's been there from the time of your father, your mother, and your grandfather, your grandmother, and great-grandmother, because the mountain has been there for a long time. Age-long problem, is ancient problem, ancestral problem, that's a mountain. And then N is a name, is a I rather, is an insurmountable problem. Look at it, it's so high, you cannot climb it. It's so wide you cannot get around it it's so deep you cannot get underneath it it stops you right there that's an insurmountable problem and it's a nameless problem you know sometimes somebody goes to the doctor and he says i'm sick doctor can you give me prescription and he tests him here and there and he says, we don't know the name of this sickness that's a mountain how are they going to give you prescription? How are they going to give you treatment when they cannot even name the problem? Yes, it's a spiritual problem. And when all those things combine together, mental problem, obstructive problem, unbearable problem, naughty problem, 
terrifying problem, each long ancient ancestral problem, insurmountable problem, nameless problem, spiritual problem, those are the mountains the Lord is talking about, it's going to go away. They say we're looking at your life, it's going away in Jesus' name. All the heavy load in your life, the, the, the big load in your life, we're going to cast everything away, demonic problem, sickness problem, whatever problem. I say to this mountain in your life, get out in Jesus' name. There are three things we're going to talk about. Number one, forget others and move your own mountain. Forget others and move your own mountain. You see, there are some people and they're thinking about this person and that person and that other person. Meanwhile, their own mountain is still there. Why don't you just forget other people now and say, this mountain in my way, it will go. I said it will go. And by the way, I'm, the message I'm talking about is move your mountain and make progress. Anybody for progress here today? Where are you? Progress daughter, progress son, where are you? Progress coming your way in Jesus' name. Move your mountain and make progress. That's how we're moving the mountains. Because you see, the mountain is just stopping you there. And it's like, you know, because the mountain is there, you cannot move on. And I'm saying that we're going to move this mountain out of your way. You will climb every ladder. You will jump every hurdle. And that place the Lord wants you to get to, this mountain will not stop you in Jesus' name. Point one, forget others and move your own mountain. Point number two, faith for overcoming and moving mountains. Faith for overcoming and moving mountains. Point number three, fresh opportunity to move your own mountain is that opportunity you will move your mountain i said you will move your mountain fresh opportunity to move your own mountain number one tell me number one again forget others and move your own mountain look at luke chapter 18 Luke chapter 18, I'm reading from verse 9. Luke chapter 18, verse 9. You see, the, the Lord is saying, solve your problem. Take away this mountain from your side. Move your own mountain. Forget others and move your own mountain. In Luke chapter 18, verse 9, it says, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. They despised others. They were not thinking about their own problem, about their own sicknesses, about their own infirmity, about their own failure, about their own shortcomings. They were thinking about other people, other people, other people. The Lord is telling us, forget others, forget others and move your own mountain we're going to do it this way i'm going to spell that mountain again give me the spelling of mountain i don't i told you you're going to get 100 percent you got it already i said you got it already as you pass here that's how you're going to pass in school that's how you're going to pass in life. It will happen in Jesus' name. M, clean up your own mess. Clean up your own mess. You see, when you mess up all around, you mess your body. You mess your clothes. You, you, you make everything dirty. And then you're looking at other people. If we're going to move the mountain, M, clean up your own mess. Oh, now, clear your own obstacle. The obstacle that is staying before you, that's your mountain. The thing that will not allow you to pass the exam, that's the obstacle. The thing that will not allow you to have salvation, that's the obstacle. The thing that will not allow you to make it in life, this obstacle, we're going to clear it away in Jesus' name. Don't, 
do like the Pharisees. The Pharisees, they never cleared up, they never cleaned up their own mess, and they never cleared up their own obstacle. But if you're going to remove your mountain, forget other people and clear your own obstacle. And then you, it is to confess your own unrighteousness. For confess your own unrighteousness. You see, that's how to move mountain. When you come before the Lord and say, no mess in my life anymore. Lord, I confess to you. Lord, I repent of that. I turn away from that. Something good is going to happen in your life. It's a, you confess your own unrighteousness. Now and cast away your own naughtiness. You cannot cast away Jay's naughtiness for her. You cannot cast away Samuel's naughtiness for him. But your own naughtiness, that's what you're going to cast away. You say, if I am naughty in the class and naughty in the school and naughty at home and naughty in church, if I am a difficult person to live with, I never obey any rule. I am naughty. That's not going to help me in life. And if I'm going to remove every obstacle and every mountain, there's something I have to do. I must cast away my own naughtiness and then tea is for temper control your own temper control your own temper you know some people they burst out in anger and they are angry against their parents and angry against our pastors and angry against everybody and they say I don't even want to live some of these people they end up bad in life I'm going to end up good in life in Jesus name you will end up well in Jesus name control your own temper we're talking about removing this mountain the mountain of mess of obstacle of unrighteousness of naughtiness of temper we get out of that in jesus name now a eh, conquer your own abomination conquer your own abomination you see there are things in the word of god god says this is an abomination like for example a boy wearing what belongs to a girl abomination a girl wearing what belongs to a boy abomination or some other bad bad dirty things that people do and the lord is saying conquer your own abomination now i cleanse your own in impurity impurity you see or things that are not pure things that are not honest that we're getting ready because this is the pathway to moving the mountain that's why you know the disciple they came to jesus said why couldn't we do this and jesus said because of your unbelief they had not totally settled everything but when we clear all that thing out of the way i'm telling you you are going you cleanse the you cleanse the abomination and you cleanse the impurity and then and huh, Look at this one now. It is to cover your own nakedness. Cover your own nakedness. I said what? Tell me out loud. You see, as um, you know, as uh, children go up, I don't understand why they do what they do. Uh, they, they get uh, so scantily dressed; they don't cover their nakedness anymore. But I thank God. Uh, you look at the youth choir; they're just like a model. Youth choir, can, just for me. Can you stand up? Just for me. Can you stand up for me? Praise the Lord. Where are you? Praise. Look at them. Look at them. Cover your own nakedness. I take you as a perfect example. I appreciate you and you know appreciate your attitude and your Christian life and even your appearance. I wish everybody would just be like you like that. Praise the Lord. We can see that now. What what is what point am I talking about? For and tell me out loud. Cover your own nakedness and now as confide in the Savior. Confide in the Savior. You come to the Lord and when you come to the Lord, you say, Lord, I trust in you. I confide in you. And then when you do that, we go through all that and then mountains are moving already. Mountains are moving already and they're moving away your life in Jesus' name. Now I come to point number two, faith for overcoming and moving mountains. Faith for overcoming and moving mountains. Let's come back to this, Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Matthew chapter 17, we're looking at verse 20. It says, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. You see, unbelief will hinder uh, the prayer of people, but it will not hinder my prayer. 
I said it will not hinder my prayer. You will not be hindered in Jesus' name. Then he says, for very lesson to you, if ye have faith, if ye have what? Tell me out loud. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove ends to yonder place, and it shall, and it shall, and it shall remove. That mountain will remove in Jesus' name. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. Can I assure you, whatever problem you brought here, nothing shall be impossible. I see you healed, nothing shall be impossible. I see you delivered, nothing shall be impossible. I see you making it in life, nothing shall be impossible. I see that progress and success in your life already, nothing shall be impossible. I see you saved. I said, I see you saved. I see you rapturable. And the righteousness of the Lord will be in your life in Jesus' name. And Jesus, if he shall say, if he shall say, you know, some people, that's a problem. They don't say it. Uh, what they, they complain, but they don't say it to the mountain. They murmur, but they don't say it to the mountain. We will say to your mountain. I will say, get out of my way. The choir has said it already. Mountain, get out of my way. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Get out of my way. And Jesus said, it shall obey. I said, it shall obey. It will go in Jesus' name. By the way, is this sign that sang and learn when you are singing? Okay, I must listen to you. Praise the Lord. You know, if what I even come to do is just to listen to the choir and go back home, I think I've got something. Praise the Lord. But then the word of God will come on top of it again. I'm saying that you, you say, young people of nowadays, those of you who are here, you are so fortunate, you are so exalted, you are so favored, and you are so blessed. It is wonderful. Every blessing will come, out, come your way in Jesus' name. Mountain, tell me, get out of my way. I say unto you in Jesus' name, get out of it is done. I said it is done. But you must say it. How do you say it? Number one, say it with faith in him. Faith in him. You say it to that mountain. You say, mountain, get out of my way. And when you say that, you say it with faith in him. Number two, say it with firmness like him. Like Jesus will say it. When Jesus says to the mountain, he doesn't say it wavering, doubting, debating, or thinking it may not happen. He says it with firmness. And when I speak to your sickness, I'm going to say it with firmness in Jesus' name. And then say it with focus on him. Focus on him. You focus on Christ. You say, Christ, I'm doing this in your name. I'm doing this in your power. I'm doing this in your authority. Say it with focus on him. Then, number four, say it in fellowship with him. It's like we're holding hands together. And I'm saying, Jesus, what you say is what I say. What I say is what you say. We're in fellowship together because he loves me and I love him. Because he lives in me. Because he, Jesus Christ, dwells in you. And because you're in fellowship with the Lord, you can say it in fellowship with him. Mountain, get out of my way. Number five, say it with fearlessness through his name. Through him. Say it with fearlessness. You are not afraid. You know that your prayer is going to be answered. That obstacle will clear away in Jesus' name. And then number six, say it with finality before him. Finality, this is final. What I'm praying for is going to be done. This thing is final time. Mountain, this is your final time. Sickness, this is your final time. Infirmity, this is your final period. Failure, uh -uh. Failure has come to an end today. This is final. Say it with finality. It will be done in Jesus' name. Number seven, say it and forget it. Say it. Don't talk about that mountain again. It's no more there. 
Don't talk about that sickness again. It's no more there. Don't talk about poverty again. It's no more there. Don't talk about mental problem again. It's no more there. Say it and forget it. It is done. I said it is done because Jesus said, if you will say, who is the you I'm talking about here? Who is the you I'm talking about here? Mountains are moving out of your life in Jesus' name. Say it with faith, say it with firmness, say it with focus, say it with fellowship, say it with fearlessness and say it with finality and say it and forget it. Point number three now. What's point number three? Fresh opportunity to move your own mountain. The time has come. I said the time has come. Fresh opportunity to move your own mountain. And why don't you look at Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. And I'm reading from verse 21. Matthew chapter 21 verse 21. Here it says, Jesus answered and said unto them. Who are the people? He said unto them. Who are the people? I'm one of them. I said I am one of them. Jesus said unto them, Verily I said unto you, If ye have faith and, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall, if ye shall, if ye shall say unto tell me unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea tell me then it shall be done it, it shall be done it shall be done in your life it shall be done praise the lord i'm telling you you can cancel failure you can cancel sickness you can cancel sorrow you can cancel suffering it shall be done it shall be done it shall be done in your life my boy there it shall be done my daughter there in your life it shall be done it shall be done i said it shall be done number one without doubting if you if you have if you have faith and doubt not faith and doubt not faith and doubt not without doubting there's no doubt in my heart the lord is going to take you out of that darkness into the light in jesus name number two without debating without debating pro or con yes or no up or down forward or backward in front or at the back there's no debate because it's a definite deliverance a definite terms of healing and of getting all your mountains removed in jesus name number three without Double-mindedness, double-mindedness, you know, uh, today I believe, then I'm wondering, is it so? Can it happen? Will it not happen? There's no doubt today, and there's no double-minded in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, without defilement, without defilement, you don't allow anything to come because now you're a commander, now you're, you're a conqueror, now you're a person that stands and say, every mountain will move out of my way in the day, mountain, anywhere you go, mountains will keep on moving. Anywhere you are, mountains will keep on moving. Number five, without dishonesty, without dishonesty, I'm not concentrating on other people and then forgetting my own doorstep, forgetting my own problem. There's no dishonesty. Number six, without disobedience, without disobedience. And then number seven, without darkness, walks of darkness, you are not in any cult, you are clear, you are clean, you are lifted up, you are saved, you are a child of God. And when you come with that understanding, no doubt there's only faith in you and today we're getting ready to move that mountain i said you're getting ready to move that mountain uh, have you seen somebody before you know the fellow is sitting down like this and crossing his leg and i say what do you want to do i said i want to move them i said uh, you you want to move mountain you sit down and then you're crossing your leg and i see people here they want to move mountain and they sit down like this and they're crossing their leg i'm saying it is time i said it is time I said it is time. Where are you? Where are you? I said it is time. Look at this mountain in your life. Look at this mountain in your body. And look at this mountain that has confronted you until this time. Mountain, get out of my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, all mountains, all infirmities, all problems, everything is moving away right now. You say it with faith. 
you say it with firmness and you say it with focus on him because I know the name of Jesus will never fail the power of Jesus will never fail and the anointing he gives us the anointing breaks every yoke everything is going everything is going everything is going the Lord is going to move that mountain the sicknesses will vanish here today infirmities will vanish here mental problem will go away from here today because the mountain is moving your mountain is moving your mountain is moving it's moving it's moving it's moving it's moving you say it with understanding you say it with faith you'll not doubt and then you forget about it is done 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 your mountains have moved your mountains have moved your mountains have moved your sicknesses have gone they know more that they cannot be there failure it cannot be there depression it cannot be there mental problem it cannot be there demonic problem it cannot remain there jesus said jesus said it shall obey you it shall obey you it shall obey you it shall obey you it must go it must go mountains move mountains move mountains move when sicknesses move when infirmities go away when mental problems are healed when the blind receives the sight when the lame when they rise up and when they walk mountains move away in jesus name we pray that the conquerors say let the overcomers say let the command commanders commanders now you know people command you do see those soldiers you see when they command you see the people the army when they command here is the army of the lord let the commanders say now if you are making an agreement with the lord that this mountain will not go beyond this moment only those people are going to raise up their hands now those who know this sickness they say the final day this infirmity they say the final day this obstruction this is a final day this failure this is a final day if you know this is a final day of that problem raise up your hand now father in the name of jesus we come here, we're not pleading with Satan, we're not begging Satan, we're not begging anything. We come as conquerors. We come as members of your army. We come as people who can say what you have told us to say. We come with the assurance that every mountain will move away. With faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I say, every mountain in the lives of every child here every boy here every girl here mountains get away in jesus name lord i pray that that sickness in their body right there any swelling there any asthma there i command you asthma get out in jesus name mental problem epilepsy there i command you right now come out in jesus name all that fever type of fever i command you come out in jesus name the pain of sequel said in your body is a mountain that have, you have suffered so long hospital to the hospital tomorrow i command sequel cell sickness come out in jesus name that deafness in the ear of that child right there i command that deafness right now come out in jesus name deem eyesight of blindness we don't agree with any blindness and i pray that spirit of blindness come out in jesus name all that thing that is making noise in your head i command come out in jesus name wet in the bed at night i command you you cannot remain there anymore be healed in jesus name Lord, I pray that every mountain that eh, your children are raising up their hands for, I pray every mountain will move away. I pray every mountain will move away. Every mountain will move away. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. It has been done. 
it has been done. It is done in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, God bless you.